Every revolution begins with a cause. A single purpose that unites a band of brothers. To march shoulder to shoulder into battle with a thirst for victory. Rebels pave the road to revolution with sacrifice, hard work, selflessness, desire. The course is set in motion, driving towards one goal. Scars mark the defeats in pursuit of an overthrow of the normal, the expected. Lynch scores for Robert Morris. Rebels, radicals, looking to start a riot. Every revolution starts with change. The revolution begins here. Road to Revolution, a season with Robert Morris Colonials Hockey. The Colonials enter the second half of the conference season in second place, somewhere they haven't found themselves in the last few years. Looking to bounce back from a disappointing non-conference tournament at Dartmouth, RMU came out firing in their first Atlantic hockey game of 2016. Nobody home and Mike Berry, the defender for Bentley, turns it over, they score! Berry turns it over and Brady Ferguson gives RMU a 1-0 lead here in the early going of period number one for Ferguson, his 10th goal of the season. The Colonials have more power play goals than any other team in the country. Here they shoot and they score! A crossing pass by Cope sets up the table and RMU gets a power play goal from Greg Gibson. Two goals in the opening three minutes against Bentley on Friday perfectly set the tone. Three more would follow in a 5-1 victory. I mean, that's huge. Anytime you can start start a game up to nothing in the first couple of minutes, that's, that's definitely a big start, uh, a big thing for your team, especially after laying an egg the weekend before. So that, that was a really good bounce that we got. And I mean, anytime you get those, you have to capitalize on them, and we were able to do that. Five turned out to be the weekend's magic number. Robert Morris scored another five goals on Saturday, including two from defenseman Rob Mann and Alex Bonche. Friedman into the offensive zone, two on one here, developing, they score! David Friedman to Rob Mann, a one-timer by Mann for his first goal of the season, and the Colonials jump out to a one nothing lead here in the second. What a feed, and Rob Mann makes no mistake. That was nice, and anytime you get on the score sheet, it, uh, it's good. I mean, I think it fires the boys up too, and guys that don't usually get a lot of points uh, start things off like that, so it's nice to get that one off the back, and it was good to uh, get the first one. Everyone really was on their A game from start to finish, Friday, first period to Saturday, the end of the game. Terry, like you said, he played unreal. I mean, one goal against, that's, that's all we can ask for. And the defense forwards, everyone's blocking shots. And I think we're first in the nation right now. So, I mean, that's just, our guys are selling out. And power play came through, PK came through. Guys are scoring. We're getting goals from the big man, uh, Bonchi, guys like that. So now everyone's chipping in, so it's, it's awesome. Fitting that defenseman scored since Terry Schaefer and the Colonials D shut out Bentley 5 to nothing to sweep the series and reclaim first place. It didn't take long for RMU's focus to turn to the next series, however. After the game, players already thinking about Holy Cross. That's huge, especially going into next weekend. Uh, we need to uh, get some space in between first and second place, and that's what ne next weekend's for. Back to work on Monday. We got a big, uh, big matchup coming up against Holy Cross. You know, it's good to savor the moment for a night, but you know, at the same time, you can't uh, can't dwell on the past, and you got to look ahead. And next week, out at uh, Holy Cross, who has games at hand on us, so. We gotta be ready to rock and roll against them. Back to work at practice. The week begins like any other, with the defensemen and forwards practicing as separate units. Anytime you get to play with uh, play with a guy and, and see what he does, it's gonna help your chemistry with that guy. I mean, if you, I mean, even just knowing what hand a guy is, what tendency if he likes to pass, and his sweet spot on his one timer or on his backhand. It's, I mean, just little things like that. Senior forward Matt Cope, one of six players already reaching 20 points so far this season. He tends to keep things light at practice. Oh! Are you trying to break my stick on that one? Nice walk! Like you, you cover half the net so that I can only shoot in one spot. Well, yeah, because I want to tip it from that hole. I'm not shooting somewhere where you can tip it. Why? Because I want to score. Hey!
Nice rep level. Yep. Did he, did he tip that? Did he? Yeah. Right, did someone or did I just miss him out by 10 feet? I thought I had that one. I have like nine crossbars though, and those look way cooler. All right, everyone, bar down. Hit the net on this one. Oh, right at the camera. Oh, I don't have any more pucks. Oh, wait, I got one. Watch you pick it up heading that way. Okay. Cut Hit the brakes. And attack that. Okay. Do we get a goalie? Oh, we just get pickle, that's all? We need a shooter tutor. Oh, I didn't know you were covering me. This time I want you to pick it up, get up to the half wall, and then attack it. Jesus, this ice is good down here. Let's get out of here and go get us our, ourselves a nice big bag. Yeah. Score like 10, 10 more goals each and then just go carbo look. Despite a fun attitude at practice that many of the Colonials display, that doesn't mean work isn't truly being put in. The day before departure to Holy Cross takes on a whole new atmosphere. The goal remains the same, four points. I mean, I'm more excited to play this weekend against Holy Cross than I have been in a really, really long time. I mean. Any chance that you get to kind of put put that distance between being in first place and being in second place is huge. So this is a really big weekend for us, uh, not only in the league but for later on in the season. And this could this could be a big turning point in, in uh, the season for either team. I think everyone knows how big the series is. I mean, we're ahead of them two points, but they do have the two games in hand on us. So I mean, it is just one series, but as we get closer to the end of the season, it, I mean, you look at the standings, it speaks for itself. So uh, I think everyone's ready to go. I, like I said, we had a good weekend versus Benley coming in on a positive and everyone will be fired up for the weekend. A sleeper bus ride and a Thursday practice at Holy Cross are now in the books. A first place faceoff awaits the Colonials on the road to Revolution. Steak, man. Arm you on two, one, two, arm you. <laughs>